while I was sitting here watching the beginning, I heard Brother George Hardaway talk about open doors. I was born and reared in the state of Mississippi, Natchez, Mississippi, right on the river. All right. All right. Now, how many of you know where Natchez, Mississippi is? Hey. God bless you. <laughs> So you know the roads we trek, okay? And the railroad that ran through. And who would have known I end up a railroad today? <laughs> and when you talk about those open doors, my young scholars, what you need to know, those that are sitting behind you right now, my elders, if you will put your hand on their shoulder so they will know that you are there behind them supporting them. They're going to push you through that open door when you hesitate and doubt that God has purposed you to move forward. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am and no, ma'am, Miss Yazzie. There you go. You guys better learn from your sister. All right? Okay. And then right after that, we talked about investing in our young scholars. You are our investment. You are our commodity. You have to believe that our divine creator, our heavenly God, that we give all the praises to. There you go. <laughs> you on it. <laughs> you have been prepared by him because he has planted seeds within you. And your elders are watering those seeds by giving to you the wisdom in which God has blessed them with. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am or no, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and then right after that, it was making a way out of no way. When Sister talked about them cutting the funding to education, those of us that can reflect back, I grew up in a school where textbooks were 20 years old. But guess what? My education came right in the house of the Lord. Yes. And they made sure I learned how to study. It was called Bible school. I learned how to take notes. It was called sit in the congregation with your pen and paper ready to take the word. Then I learned how to communicate that word because what did I have to do? I had to study the word every day. So no matter what they take away, you have to remember God has given it to you. Do you understand me? Yes. It is what you do with it and make of it and move it forward that makes it count. Do you all understand me? Yes, yes ma'am or no ma'am? Yes. I love you, Jasmine. Yes. 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 Thank you for correcting me. I, I accept that. Then after that, we discussed something about believing and trusting in God. God first, no matter what you do, right. no matter what. You're going to have some challenges called peer pressure. Mm -hmm. You're going to have some challenges called work. Yeah. I need the money to pay the bills. But no matter what, God is there. Have faith that he's going to provide all of that. It has been provided. You just have to trust in him. Amen. Do you understand Amen. me? Yes. <laughs> and this is the truth. There have been days in my life, and my daughter can tell you, I am a walking testimony, where my mother ended up in 14 foster homes. I'm the eldest of five. Think about this. I wasn't old enough to work, but I knew that God was there. I knew this, and I still know it today. Who would know that a young lady from the state of Mississippi would end up in Nevada to help create ways for those that don't have a way? Amen. Hello? 